screencast is going to inform you about MathSAPS this year and how it will work for you as a student. In the past you would have turned up to a class, you would have sat in groups or in rows and you would have had the teacher give you a whole lot of information and you would have had a textbook and you would have written down some notes and you would have done some homework and you would have come back the next day. This is called face-to-face -face learning and it's really good, it's really good because the fact is that you have an expert in the classroom that is telling you how to do stuff. However, what happens if you get stuck at home? Now, what happens if uh, you want to use your friends as a resource or use the internet as a resource? How does that work in this environment? Well, in maths, what we're going to do is we're going to use the internet to be able to provide different learning opportunities for you so you can progress at your own pace and that you can actually gain a really good full understanding of the work that we do. The first thing that you do is all our concepts and all the main key things that you need to know for exams and tests and folios are all on YouTube. So the whole course has been screencasted for you so you can watch any bit at any time. And that is your job. You, you will be asked to actually do that at home time. Then associated with this is a whole lot of online quizzes. Each quiz uh, tests a certain part of the maths curriculum, which means that if you can pass a quiz, then you're going to do fairly well in a test or an exam. These are formative, so which means you can do these over and over and over again until you get them right. They will be marked automatically and your feedback will come straight to your email as soon as you finish doing the work. These also can be done in class or at home, but this is for you to drive your learning. The other thing we do as well is we offer online uh, tutorials at night time using Hangouts. And this means that you can actually have a small group of people asking questions of each other and the teacher um, out of hours time to give you extra support when needed. We'll run several of these during the year. The other thing we're going to explore this year is using Blogger to actually get you to write a learning blog as you go through. This will not be an onerous task. This will be a small thing that each week we ask you to reflect on what you have learnt and where you have struggled, which will also help your teacher give you information of helping you out. The other thing is this is all linked together via email, so you'll get emails letting you know how you go, and also your parents will get emails every week letting you know how you are travelling. So it's just to keep everyone in the loop by using that uh, the interactivity and the connections within the internet. What does this mean for you when you come into the class? Does that mean the teacher disappears altogether, or is there other avenues of it? Well, what happens is that face-to-face -face learning is not, is not written off completely. What it means is when you're in the classroom, we can target the areas that you need help in, because the quizzes will show us where you are struggling. We'll be able to set up discussion groups so you can help each other and you can work in learning teams to actually improve your learning. And what this means is the face-to-face -face teaching that we normally have has been value added and you'll actually be able to progress faster and have reinforcement and do things over and over again if you need to um, and get help specifically at the time that you need it. So for you, it means that you have the opportunity to progress at your own rate, fill up the holes that you need to fill, um, reinforce the things that you struggle with, as well as being uh, having your individual kind of curriculum delivered to you uh, via your computer. But once again, in all these things, um, when you progress through the years of school, the ball is in your court which means that you actually have to take ownership for the learning that you are doing. Uh, all the resources are there, your teacher is there to provide information and input for you, but you're the one that actually has to take uh, advantage of it and go to the best of your ability. So in class, you'll be actually have chance to ask questions, do group work and partake in tutorials which are targeted at different things. At the home time, you'll be doing quizzes, screencasts and blogging. So you see the two kind of blend together so that the whole learning environment is uh, quite fluid and hopefully will meet the needs of every student. So instead of just a face-to-face -face classroom, we now have a classroom which is full of students participating and learning in groups. We also have a teacher there to help facilitate, plus we utilise all these resources that we have at our fingertips to make your learning better.